How's it going, everybody? Rob here, back with another video. Playing some more of Fallout 76. Now, normally I would do my usual, like, schedule of, like, let's say... Two Destiny Let's Plays, my live game Let's Play, a couple reaction stuff, and then my Let's Play, my current Let's Plays. But, I really want to finish this, so... We are going to do this mission, um, as well as work on some other stuff. Anyway, we're back with uh, Fallout 76. This is part 42. And uh, long story short, we have to hunt down a Jersey Devil. So... Okay, so let's see. Crap, I need to toss some more stuff.
Hitting me. You don't fuck with your family. Whoops. Wrong oh, dude. This thing is. Think I could take him? I'd love to have a nice little tea party chat, but we got work to do. Okay, let's see. Try to get over there. Okay. We have three more to go. Damn it.
see. You look it. Okay. Okay, I think I got enough ammo and shit as it is. So, I'm gonna have to withhold from grabbing anything else. For the most part. those. All right, there should be this last thing to do this. Okay. 
I don't like the fact that it keeps we are, eh, girl? teleporting me back that way. Got to backtrack all the way to the prior location. Come on. There we go. Okay, through here. go. Got him. Hey, kid. I need a word with you. This is it. Hope my daughter's grateful we're about to whack a living legend for her. What's with you and Abby? What gave it away? Is it the constant tension or her blatantly hating my guts? I know you're not supposed to have a favorite kid, but I did. And it wasn't Vin. When Abby was real little, I took her under my wing. She was a total daddy's girl. Showered her with affection and gifts. I used to let her sit in on all of our meetings. We showed her the ropes. I hate to admit it, but she would have been a top-tier maid woman. But there's a reason they call the Cosa Nostra the family. It's cause it replaces your real one. And you've gotta fuck over your real one to keep the family happy. So what changed between you and her? What didn't change is the real question. Abby, she was, uh, you know, getting older. Becoming more of a teenager, less of a little girl. She was... she was growing into a formidable young woman. And that was the problem. Why did it suddenly become an issue... for her to be a mobster? It's not that it suddenly became an issue, it's that... Well, when you're a kid, it, it, it don't mean nothing. It's... it's all fun and games. Once you're an adult... You're locked into that life for, well, life. She was going to end up just like me. Just, you know, with less respect. There ain't a law saying women can't be in the family, but there's always been opposition to letting them reach positions of power. Yeah, it's tradition. It's always been men who have done the killing, the stealing, the, the plotting. I was next in line to be godfather. Do you really think they would have accepted her as my heir with no issues? Just ask Conchetta. Why do you think she has a target on my ass? If she could have been Don, Quintino would have chosen her. She's his flesh and blood after all. That's very old fashioned.
That doesn't explain how she became addicted to Devil's Blood. So, if the ma Mafia had accepted Corchetta as their leader, you would have stepped down? Of course not. Let's not compare apples to oranges here. Abby and Concerta are two entirely different stories. I owe her nothing. That woman is ruthless. She'd make a great tyrant, not a leader. I can almost admire it if, it, if she'd stop trying to murder me for two seconds. But we got more important things to worry about. Like Abby. I wasn't about to set Abby up for disappointment. Trading her all these years just to be rejected. I, uh, I just distanced myself from her. Didn't let her sit in on my work no more. I never told her why. Over time, she just got the hit. That's when she started acting out. She knew I was the big player moving devil's blood around AC. I don't know if she, she knew I discovered it, but, uh, there's tons of chems you can get hooked on in this shit hole, but she got hooked on the one thing that she knew would get my attention. Trouble is, blood is highly addictive. She got in to win my love with some such bullshit, but there's no getting out with that poison. Let's see. I'm gonna go with this last one. She was only a child. Only a teenager. Her brain was... was hardly, well, developed. Yeah, I was, I was under their thumb, but maybe I could have done better. I, I could have kept her close, but it might have screwed us both over in the end. And I don't know if I could live with myself if it got to that point. Listen, the past is a... Oh shit! Now I gotta run all the way over there.
Oh, it's gonna take a minute to... This sucks. This isn't working. Damn it. Oh man, this is getting annoying.
Man, I feel like I'm gonna end up keep dying or something. Okay. I want to try something. I wish I could do multiple shots with the blunderbuss. Alright. Like, modify it in some way.
that blood. Pure devil blood. Do you know how much this shit is worth? I'll tell you what, kid. Why don't you take a little more than you need? It'll take longer, sure, but Abby's waited this long already. I'm sure she could last a bit longer, and I can take the rest back to Jean and make an exclusive line of elite blood. We could make a killing off it. Yeah, that's the look at yourself regressing into your old ways. Going down this path will only drive you further away from your daughter. But there's well, you I You might be right there. Maybe I'm losing my grip on myself. I'm getting too old to chase these caps, kid. I don't know how much time I got left. The, the mob aside, I might as well spend the rest of it trying to make it right with my kids, right? Just take enough for Abby, all right? Just, just leave the sucker to his own devices. Okay. Um. Ah, shit. I'm hoping it doesn't make me redo all that. Ah, shit. Okay, let me try... I bet you I'm gonna have to redo it again. Okay. So that took a minute, but we got what we needed. Thank.
get back to Abby as soon as possible, and, uh, thanks, kid, for showing me the way. It's the dawn of a new era, huh? Okay. All right, Jeannie, we got the goods. Hey, where's Abby? Yeah, yeah, uh, about that. I'm gonna ask nicely Hurry. one more time. We don't have much Where time. Where is my daughter? She took off. It wasn't my fault. I swear, Antonio, she just left. Why on earth would she do that? Her life's in jeopardy, for God's sake. She, 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 she said she needed to be alone. That, that this is a mistake. What? No, no that, that, that doesn't make any sense. Did you? Did she say where she went? Sorta. She she said she went to the place where she met her real father. Kids and their dramatics. We need to go find her then. What is this place where she met her real father? Aren't you her real father? Yes, genius. I am. And I'm pretty sure I know where it is. It's where she first saw me whack a poor fool on a job. Hard to keep a calendar in times like this, but she was still a kid at the time. Fell owed the family caps for some blood he never paid for. He never came up with the caps, so we wasted it. I wasted them. I guess you could say it was Abby's first lesson in what happens to an addict at the end of the line. Let's move fast then. Let's go. Damn it. The oh, crap. Oh, now I get freaking. We'll deal with that later. Please, just leave me alone. It's best for everyone involved if you just leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, you're not going anywhere. Just 
Leave me alone. It's best for everyone involved if you just leave me alone. Abby! What the hell's gotten into you? We got the sample. Y y you need to come back to the lab. Why even bother with it? Is there even a point to this antidote? What are you talking about? Do you even remember what happened here, Dad? You wasted a guy on blood because he didn't pay up. What even sets me apart from him? Why does he get a bullet to the head and I get an antidote? Abby, this is ridiculous. I'm not gonna just let you die over something that happened 14 years ago. We can't just let her walk away. This is your only shot at a normal life. You can't throw this away. A normal life, huh? Let me ask you something. What life do I have to return to? What point is there? My mother's too busy looking in a mirror to look at me. My brother can't be there for me for forever. He has his own life to live. My father kills people and ruins their lives for a living, and I've never even been good enough for that. So let me ask you again. What do I have to go back to? With a life like that, what'll even stop me from using again? Then all of this would be for nothing. Antonio's out of the family now. Maybe things can change. I would love to believe that. I really would. But how do I know I can trust his word? Anyone can lie. Only actions show change. Consistent action. How do I know anything is going to change? What proof is there? Your father chose you over selling the blood for profit. He... he did? He gave up caps? I just... I'm not sure if I believe that. Look, quit making me out to be this horrible bad guy. I, I, I just didn't want to waste perfectly good money is all. It's not about the blood or even the stupid devil. It's about the fact that you've always chosen caps over me. Why did you walk away from me? What did I do wrong? He knew the family would never accept you as one of them. He just didn't want to set you up for disappointment and failure. True, he should have stood up for me. I wasn't there for you, and for that, I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. But the truth is, you didn't do nothing wrong. And I never hated you. I knew you could never really be in the mob. They just, they, they would never even let you file their papers, let alone call the shots. I didn't want to set you up for failure, you understand? I didn't want to break your heart, neither. So, I just did nothing. But, I should have done better. And for that, I'm sorry. You admitted you were wrong. So maybe it's time I do the same. I never really thought you cared about me. I thought I was as disposable to you as every other addict you wasted. I don't think I deserve special treatment because I'm your daughter. But if I'm going to take this antidote and start a new life, I really want it to be a new life. A new start. No more killing. No more Kims. I want a proper family. I don't want to be on my own anymore. No, Abby. You're, you're right. I failed you. All these years, I put caps and a high life ahead of my family, ahead of my own flesh and blood. I'm the one who owes you an apology, and yeah, 
Yes, I am a coward for trying to walk away. I, I should have done better. But you know, sweetheart, there's still time. If you take the antidote, I can be the father you always wanted from here on out. I want the antidote. I want to get better. Let's head back to the lab then. You'll, you'll feel better soon. Okay. So, how do you do this whole father thing? It's easier to make caps than raise a kid. A brighter future makes recovery seem. for chit chat we got to get her cured ASAP oh. <sighs> you're back did you get the sample and uh will there be any leftovers your uh Jersey devil blood straight from the source Engineer the antidote. Are you sure you want this, Abby? No more blood. Forever. Put a sock in it, Jean. All right, all right. <laughs> this should be good. Ready, Abby? I'm ready as I'll ever be. I'm right here with you, kiddo. Well? Do you feel any different? I... I don't know. Not really. Wait. I feel... The craving is dying down. It's not as intense. You should feel some uh, immediate relief. Uh, but it'll take weeks for the symptoms to fade completely. It, it'll only get better from here on out. <laughs> not worse. Thank you, Jean. There you go. I should be thinking you the most. Without you, I'd still be... I don't want to think about what might have happened to me. It's worth to see... Uh, it's worth it to me to see you healthy again. That means... a lot to hear. I never considered that anyone cared about whether I lived or died. I guess a lot of people do. Anything for you, Abby. You better prove to you that I'm here for you. You ready to go home now, kiddo? Yeah, Dad. I'm ready. Could you meet us there? You've been with us the whole way, so it wouldn't feel right to part ways here. I'm sure yeah. Ben wants to thank you, too. Of course. I'll be there. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Okay, so let's go return to the Rose Room. Okay. Well, Sorry. no need to Just roll out the red carpet right for his bad. We're back. The devil coughed up his cure and Abby is right as red. Thank God. Does he mean it, Abs? Yeah, Ben. I'm back. Really back. Thank goodness. We're all due for some relaxation now that this is through. Would you like a toast, Abigail? Uh, let's take it easy on the substances for a while. Oh, you're right, of course. 
goodness. I don't think we've spent this much time in the same room in ages. It's certainly a welcome change. Everyone, please shift to the left if you can. It's my good side. Mom, all your sides are your good side. You've grown charismatic with age, Abigail. If only I could say the same for your father. Hey, not in front of the guest. Speaking of which, why don't you come join the festivities? Uh, so is this the part where we give you our gratitude and third-born child? <laughs> no thanks is necessary. I'm just glad to see everyone happy and healthy. I'll take your third or fourth boards, please. <laughs> Quite the Samaritan answer, you. Yo and Ven must get along well. I know this has been a roller coaster. Having you looking in from the outside, it shed light on a lot of things. But I'm hopeful for the future. I just once we can keep it together. I um, I actually have something I want to talk to you all about. This has been on my mind for a while. Ever since we came to Appalachia, I've missed working with the Munis. I felt guilty for thinking about them when everyone needed me here. I even thought about going back, about what going home would be like without all of you in it. And I don't want that life. You're my family, and I want you to know that I'm staying nearby so long as I'm able. Oh! Don't frighten us like that. You have us all holding our breath just to say nothing is changing. You'll always have a home here, Vinny. You know that. You deserve to be happy too, Vin. Maybe there's an organization out here like the Munis. Somewhere you can do that kind of work again. Cool. Actually... And, uh, feels really weird to talk about myself. Oh, you'll get better with practice. I certainly did. Yeah, maybe a little too good. Don't you think, honey? You know you love it. All right, all right. Family meeting's over. As for you, our doors are open. At least we can do in return for your assistance with family matters. Maybe one of these days, we'll even have a happy hour worth inviting you to. Oh. I think I can fit you in? What's up? Wait, did it just say a Jersey Devil plushie? Oh my gosh. Alright, let's travel to the... Camp. Okay. Couple things. Um, items. And level up.
Okay. Okay, I think this would be a perfect spot as any to go ahead and end the video. We completed that mission, completed uh, the Jersey Devil, got its blood, saved Abby, and brought the family back together. Yep, I think we did good. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Truly appreciate it if you guys can. Please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow us on social media, links are in the description down below. As well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. With that being said, this is Rob Novacast signing off. Have a good one. Take care. And I'll see you guys next video.